our 12th tutorial in the CI series. In this video, we're going to carry on from where we left from, that is tutorial number 11, and we're going to uh, introduce Bcrypt as our hashing algorithm, okay? So, um, if you haven't watched our previous video, that's, uh, that's our lesson covering uh, inserting data from the current field displayed on the screen into our uh, into our database, into our table, our user's table, then I'll advise, you guys, I'll advise you guys to go back and watch it. So select stuff from, select stuff from users, okay. Let me go first and say use training, select stuff from users, control shift enter. Okay, so we, we are going to hash the password field in here. That's K, our K3. We're going to maintain the current password which is already displayed here. Okay, so let me just copy it and um, I'm going to switch to my IDE and then uh, to hash your password using Bcrypt, I've actually included all the resources that I'm mentioning here and linked them to, to, the, uh, to the application. So to use your Bcrypt uh, hashing algorithm, you have to uh, initialize it in your application, okay? And I've done that right here in the library helper. So I'm, li uh, I'm loading the Bcrypt library, okay? So, so that I don't have to keep on typing uh, this load library. Actually, if I don't include it in here, up here, as an array of library, I'll have to keep on typing it here, like this, um, load, oh damn, there is something, I'm messing myself up, this load library, bcrypt, okay, that's the way to load your your uh, libraries or any other help or mo model but uh, to be smart you just have to just do away with this and reload it up here okay so that explains uh, why we are not going to load our bcrypt uh, library again okay so um, to, to, to pass your password over over Bcrypt hashing algorithm, all you need to do is just to uh, set it uh, in a variable that is um, data is equal to. So at this point, you can you can include uh, you can include a field in here in your form, a password field, so that uh, the user types in their password and then you hash them. Okay, so that you, you just uh, capture the the data at the form level. Alternatively, you can you can generate you can generate a, a password. Okay, some alpha numeric variable or some numeric variable somewhere, some random numbers, and then just hash them. And if you do that, you'll have to send an email to the user, which means you're going to require an email address. Or if you you've in integrated your application with SMS, then you can send the details to the to the user via SMS. But now I want us guys to just use this current password here, which I just copied, and hash it. Okay, so I'll just assign it to a variable. My current password to a variable, and then to to hash your password, you just have to call Bcrypt class. So just do. this okay and then you're going to do bcrypt okay so this bcrypt and then underscore hash password okay hash underscore password that clear oh i'm getting something wrong uh this bcrypt and then hash underscore password okay hash password and then we are going to pass in our, our 
password in here let me do password oh that means that i'll have to change i'll have to change uh, this one up here because i see i have two two data okay so that one alone will hash our password so um i think guys this is so e so much easier than what you thought okay everything is simplified so um let me repeat once more we do a recap every time we handle a complicated thing for the first time but this is not even complicated so um i've set my password as a variable in here and then first hit over my big crypt hashing algorithm by just calling big crypt uh, class okay and i've pre preloaded the i've loaded the big crypt li library at the top as an array of where i'm loading my array of libraries okay so that one explains everything this is this is easy maybe for the first time for you not but just understand that i'm setting my password this could come from a form a random number or any other thing okay and then i've passed it over the decrypt hashing algorithm okay and then sent uh, sent it to the database but uh, from our last from our previous uh, tutorials when we are creating our table you guys notice that uh, we set these fields the username field the email field um phone phone really no i don't think if you set the the, the phone field but the numbers were set to unique which means we can't insert the record displayed on the screen again okay give you some kind of error there's a key on email and then the next error will be a key on on employee number blah 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 so i just want to truncate to truncate my table so that we see if our hashing algorithm works okay so say truncate truncate table training so last time that i really need to um, have some training on writing training it messes me up so let me go ahead and let me go ahead and in set this what happened never truncated our table in the first place let me try it again truncate table users okay maybe it's all right star on users okay we have nothing in here so let me try to insert this data again and everything works out so that means that um our password field is already hashed okay that sounds so nice okay so that's the way to hash your password using bcrypt so um, i think what's left here is just to uh, link our form to the dashboard okay so let's come to my dashboard view that is dash so and then i'll scroll down to where i have the section one that's from our application okay from our application um we have section one here so it's this section over here so i'm going to do my first section to be my uh -huh. you said everything is under human resource and then the first link here is going to be um add new user add new user okay 
do this in Perl in UK's first. So in here, I'm going to, I can do a plain HTML, but won't help much. So let me just echo, I'm going to echo size URL. So I'll just do PHP echo site URL and then I'm going to do um, HR slash what's the, the link to our form HR slash register user okay HR slash register user good understandable really understandable let me close my PHP tag in there so that um, if I load my page in here, I have human resource, add new user, and still end up with that. End up with the same, 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 same form. Yeah, that is fairly understandable. So, um, why don't we meet guys in the next lesson and just um start validating our login our login page so that our our system can become lively as what you guys currently see in here so um see you in the next lesson and subscribe